Gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, hour number two. Um, sure. We do this every so often, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hook up right now live on the Tom Hartman Show, number one rated liberal talk host in America. So his show will be on our air, and our air will be on his show, and we're going to be one big happy family. Hello, Tom. Hey, Steve. How are you? That was easy. How are you? Indeed, I'm fine. How are you? Good, good, good. So, okay, so we have uh, the World Bank saying every country in the world should have a universal health care. Yeah, I know, but I told, I told you guys I don't, I, I don't want to talk about the World Bank. And, and, and you've see, got the Pope saying. See, that's you know, a we, snooze we, fest, we the obligate. World Bank. Pardon? The World Bank is a snooze fest. Who wants to hear about that? Who cares? Well, let's, let's talk about this principle of, of a national health care program, of every person having health care. There are, there are really two issues here, aren't there? I mean, isn't there the issue of, okay, you broke your arm. What are you going to do about that? Right, the individual, somebody got sick. But then there's the issue of, you know, if you're, if, you're taking the, if you're walking down the street or if you're taking the bus someplace and the guy next to you is coughing, do you really want him to have tuberculosis? Because he doesn't have okay, a Okay, all right. Well, first of all, I don't know what Public country healthy. you're in or what country the World Bank is worried about, but people in the United States uh, don't get tuberculosis. Actually, the two, uh, except there, for, we have except, two ex- tuberculosis hotspots in the United States, okay. Steve, Los uh, Angeles and New York City. Okay, well, there, there's a reason for that, too, because we have a lot of illegals in both those places, I'm sure. Uh, oh, no, am I actually, allowed to say not, illegals? That's not Ooh, the largest can't say part it. of the population. Okay, I didn't it's say it's the largest people. part of the population, but, but, but let, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Okay. Um, nobody's denied medical care in this country so period the end and and in an effort to in an effort to um sign people up uh so that you could claim oh we have universal health care coverage which is never going to happen because people aren't signing up and they're not going to sign up you're 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 screwing with the insurance that uh, over a hundred million people have and like and depend on and can afford that's going bye-bye did you see the cbs story they finally said something i've been saying for weeks Wait till these uh, people who get subsidies on on, uh, their premiums and these young people who could get it for 30 bucks a month. Wait till they learn the word deductible. You see, they're talking now about $5,000 plus deductibles for the average policy on Obamacare. No one could afford that. This is a disaster, Tom, a disaster. So you're saying, Steve, that we should be giving everybody health insurance that has no deductibles. I agree with you. No, I'm saying let the free market reign and keep it the way it was, but only oh, open it so up even more. Let people buy. Let people, people in California be able to shop across state lines to other states, and let people all over the country. Insurance companies compete for the services of people in every state. Free market will solve all this. It always like has, it, like and it, it always will. Like it magically has. That's why we've had such great health care. We have had the best health care in the world. And you talk uh, to the 100 million rich. who are going to lose it in 014, and they'll tell you, guess what? The latest polls show that 70% of Americans like their insurance, want to keep their insurance. Like the liar-in-chief said, we could, but we can't. Because he knows, and I guess you too, Tom, know what's best for all of us. So you, Tom, will have maternity coverage. Isn't that lovely? And you'll pay for it. It, whether you like it or not. That's just I wonderful, that's Tom. Basic principle of insurance that everybody's in. Either everybody's in or they're not. I mean, that that's that's why it's called insurance as opposed really, to... Really, insurance you know, means everybody's in or they're not? That car insurance is, is it everybody you know has a car insurance, whether they have a car or not? What are you talking about? Well, I don't have a car, but all of us... Well, I don't need maternity coverage, but I'm being forced to get it. But I I don't have... I don't need maternity coverage, but I'm being forced to get it. And women are being forced to cover prostate cancer, and they don't have prostates. That's that's, 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 that's insane. That's we're, that, we're that, that's that, that that's, that's insane. All. I mean, that that's the most ridiculous thing I you, ever heard. You actually don't have maternity coverage. Excuse me. You showed up at a hospital saying, "I want to, I want to see a gynecologist because I think I'm, you know, four months pregnant." They would laugh you out of the hospital. No, no, you're paying. The policies that are being canceled are going to be canceled, especially the hundred million in a, with the employer mandate in, a, in the next year, or the six or seven or eight million that have been canceled. They've been canceled because they don't meet all of Obama's standards, and that means everybody has to have uh, coverage for drug rehabilitation. Everybody has to have coverage for maternity. All well, these you things. You, you want unrehabilitated drug addicts running around on the streets loose? Uh, no, I don't want to have to pay for rehabilitation okay, so- coverage for myself or my family if we don't need it. You know what? If I had a 67 Chevy and it was beat up, I wouldn't get collision, Tom. I wouldn't pay for collision. Would you? Tom, would you pay for collision on a car that was worth 100 bucks? 
So are you saying, Steve, <laughs> that if you don't have children, you shouldn't have to pay property taxes to cover? You know, you know what? You, you, t- this is what I love about the left. What are you talking about? But by you extension, just, I make a statement involving an issue that you address, and then you, because you can't come back with a, a cogent response relating to that issue, you say, oh, so you're saying uh, in China, uh, if they sit on the park bench no, in the, in the winter time, uh, their feet will get cold. Right. That's exactly what I said, you Tom. You said if you don't need something, you shouldn't have to pay for it. So I'm saying, okay, let's apply that to schools. Are you saying that if you don't have children, you shouldn't have to pay property taxes for your local school? Property tax- Taxes go for many different things, okay, my friend. You, you I am not. I, look, we had a system of health care in this country where two thirds or more of the people liked the my coverage they had, and two thirds or more of the people the used the, the coverage they had. And now the entire system is unworkable thanks to the big hand of government who are forcing people to take what they, the government says, is best for you. Right, and that's Robert not Congress. the no, way I, I, America I, I, I works. That's why I'm saying let's take Medicare, which operates oh, that what you on said a first time we said it. overhead system, as opposed to 20 or 25 percent overhead for all these for-profit companies. And, and I mean, I don't understand why we're paying for Stephen Hemsley to become more than a billionaire. You know, the owner of. Okay. Uh, or the CEO I know, of the I know, Android. I know. Everybody should make uh, the so, same and live in the so same houses and drive the Medicare same cars. You get along great with President Obama. You get along great with Obama. I thought we were going to talk about the fact that you said you can't be Catholic and be a Republican, which was an outrageous thing to say, but I guess that's why you said it. Well, I that's when I that's that... when I approached your producer, and that's what I said I wanted to talk okay. about. You come on with the World Bank. I mean, don't well, put I me was, to sleep. I was halfway through my sentence. I was going to say the World Bank and the Pope are talking. Oh, about the World Bank and the Pope. Okay, but that's yeah. I'm not talking about what the Pope said. I'm talking about what you said. You said you can't be Catholic and be a Republican, did you not? I, I, so what I do you say to the millions of Catholic Republicans? They don't exist? I, I would say that they're probably not practicing their faith the way that oh, their Pope understands it. Okay, so, there, so you know best on, on how they should be practicing their faith. Obama knows best no, on how we should that. have our health care run. I don't know if I Wait, know I, you fit no, right in Catholic with him. How I'm come you're not in this cabinet? He could get you through with 51 votes. You know that? He could put you on the bench. 51 votes, he could put you on the bench. You fit right in. You know what's best. You know how people should worship their religion. He knows what people should do for themselves and for everybody else. He knows well, best. You know best. You, it's if great. You are, if you are trying to rebut the concept of judicial review, that the Supreme Court is, has become basically the kings of America, they actually have more power than any of the kings or queens of Europe. And if, if you're saying that they shouldn't have that kind of power, that they should not be able to strike down laws passed by Congress and signed by the president, I agree with you. See, even though we agree... Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Even though you think oh, we agree, no, no. Even though you think we agree, I'm not saying I agree. I wasn't talking about that. Why do you always change the subject? Well, I Why can't I you address what I'm saying? You said Steve. that people can't be Catholic and be Republican. And when I say what about the Catholic Republicans, mm. millions of them, you say they're probably not practicing oh, well, their religion no, I'm correctly. Not the reality of Catholic Republicans. What I'm suggesting is that somebody who is voting Republic and believes, Republican, and believes that they're practicing the Catholic faith is doing so in a way that's inconsistent with the current Pope. Are you that's Catholic? I'm not. All right. Well, then, you know, uh, you know, well, it, it's, it's really a mockery. Why don't you tell Muslims how they're practicing? I bet you wouldn't be doing that. Well, I don't know. No, no, you wouldn't. Hey, f- always a great thing is, to is talk well, to you, Tom. Right it's a wonderful thing. Talk. All thank right, you, folks. Thank you, Tom. Just incredible. Folks, I don't know why I do it. <laughs> no, I like doing it. Because it proves the lunacy of the left. Everything I bring up, he goes to another subject. He knows best what's best. He knows what's best for Catholics, how they should practice, who they are, what they're practicing. He's not Catholic. Now I weigh in on issues, but I don't tell Catholics that I don't judge how they're practicing their religion. It's insane. It is insane. The left is insane. But I love Tom. Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio. The Steve